The GTX 970 is a Ferrari 360. Greg, what are you doing? This is a computer tech video. Why are you talking about cars? Bear with me for just one second. This is how I'm gonna get my point across here. The GTX 980, which is an improvement over the 970, though both are based on the exact same Maxwell architecture, is essentially a Ferrari F430. So we have a Ferrari 360 and a Ferrari F430. Now both of these cars utilize V8 engines, hence the Maxwell architecture similarity between the two graphics cards. See what I'm doing here? But the F430's engine is significantly larger than the 360's and results in an additional 100 horsepower and a quicker 0 to 60 time. The horsepower difference between the two cars is indicative of the coup de core count difference between the 980 and the 970. Now additionally, the 970 has a VRAM issue that the 980 does not. If you're interested in learning more about this issue, you can click the card above me. But nonetheless, we never exceeded around three gigabytes of VRAM usage in all of our benchmarks, so we won't have to worry about that issue plaguing any of our results. But I want to answer in this video the question of whether or not the 980 is worth the additional 100 or so US dollars, how many more frames per second will we achieve with the 980 over the 970, and does that justify the additional price hike? Let's pit these two Ferraris head to head and find out which is the better buy. Now a few things I want to bring up fairly quickly. City Skylines appear to be fairly resilient to the graphics card change, and that's indicative of a CPU intensive game. So hopping from a 980 to a 970 really didn't result in that sharp of a frame rate drop. Dying Light was very surprising in that our 970 did better than our 980 in literally every category. Not much more I can say about that. However, in Black Ops 3 and GTA 5, we definitely see the additional CUDA cores yielding higher frame rates than the 970. Now in terms of price to performance, I'm going to do something I haven't yet done with a graphics card comparison video, and that is literally throw some math at you guys. So I took all six games and the average frame rates for each card of all six games and added them all up. So for the 970, that total was 881.17. That really doesn't mean anything yet. It's when we divide it by the GTX 980's average frame rate totals that will give us a value that's actually meaningful. So the 980's average FPS total was 1027.235. So when we divide this larger value, the 980's value of over 1000 by 881.17, that gives us a value of 1.16576. So we can call this value our performance ratio, okay? That means that our 980 is literally 16.6% better than our 970. But now we have to factor in cost, okay? The 980 is a fairly expensive card compared to the 970. So I, I tried to find fairly reasonable prices for both of these cards on Newegg. Uh, the 980 can cost anywhere from about $400 to 550. Uh, so I took a conservative uh, conservative value of 450 for a 980. I wouldn't recommend buying a $520 version of the same card that you could buy for 430. I really don't understand that. So that's why I picked 450, not a higher value. Now for the 970, I picked the value of 330. So unless you buy refurbished, you're going to pay over 300 bucks for the most part, unless you find a pretty good sale somewhere, which I encourage you to do. Check every day for those sales if you're looking to buy a graphics card in the near future. So this is our price ratio. This means that our GTX 980 is about 36.4% more expensive on average than our 970. So this is how I compare the two numbers. Now there are plenty of ways to do this, plenty of analyses out there, but this is how I'm gonna do it because I think this is the easiest way to do it via YouTube. If you're comparing two cards, in our case the 980 versus the 970, we want our price ratio to be lower than our performance ratio. So that means that we're gonna get more bang for the buck if we purchase the 980. But that's not the case. 
In this case, our performance ratio is only 16.6%. So we're getting a 16.6% increase going with the 980 over the 970, but we're paying 36.4% more for the 980 over the 970. So that's how I wanna conclude this video. While the 980 is clearly the better performer, the 970 is most definitely the better bang for the buck. Now I wanna hear from you in the comments below. Let me know if you plan on buying either of these cards. Let me know what you think about the math, how you, uh, how you responded to the benchmarks that you saw a little earlier. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you think it deserves one. Give it a thumbs down if you think it doesn't, and stay tuned for future content. Click the subscribe button, by the way, if you haven't already. Don't be shy, it's okay. This is Science Studio. Thanks for learning with us.